Hello everyone, and welcome to my EastEnders Media News channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Elaine Peacock and Cindy Beale of EastEnders will square off over George Knight's treachery. Elaine learned last week that George, her boyfriend, had kissed Cindy, his ex-wife, after listening in on their private discussion. She decided not to disclose this knowledge, though, preferring to concentrate on the heartbreaking discovery that George had a brain disorder connected to his risky battles. However, in the episode that aired on Thursday, May 16th, Elaine revealed to George what she knew without thinking it through, and he acknowledged the betrayal. Elaine told George to leave the pub even though he insisted that the kiss with Cindy was insignificant and would never happen again. The aftermath of the kiss is shown in scenes that will run on Monday, May 20th, when George wakes up on the sofa at number 55 after Elaine ejected him from the Vic. Gina and Anna, meantime, visit Cindy in an effort to mend fences with their mother and advise her to avoid George. Junior's return to Walford soon presents George with further challenges as he learns that his son has a secret family consisting of his wife Monique and son Xavier. While the Knights love spending time with Junior's family, friction between Junior and George is still evident, and Junior quickly seeks excuses to leave. Junior and his family accept Elaine's invitation to relocate into the Vic when Gina becomes receptive to the notion. Later in the week, Elaine instructs Linda, Gina, and Anna to butt out after overhearing them chatting about her current circumstance with George. She chooses to pay number 45 a visit herself, and once inside, she informs Cindy that George is hers to have if she so desires. Elaine tells Cindy to permanently leave George alone when she insists that Ian is the right man for her. Will the drama in this love triangle, though, end with this? George Knight has been confronted by Elaine Peacock regarding his covert kiss with Cindy, his ex-wife, in EastEnders. Elaine found out last week that George had kissed Cindy behind her back after she overheard her attempting to talk the Vic barman out of continuing his covert boxing. In the episode that airs on Thursday, May 16th, Anna and Gina provide Elaine support as she considers her options throughout the course of the past week. Junior was threatening George in the square, saying he would tell him everything about his father's most recent cozy meeting with Cindy. Despite having a wife and son, Junior had a secret of his own. He had gotten into an affair with Bianca Jackson. Junior refrained from disclosing the truth about George and Cindy in the Vic after observing Anna and Gina's concern for their father in the wake of his recent medical diagnosis. Elaine even led the family in a toast, but Junior gave an excuse to leave since he was uncomfortable. Gina asked her brother why he was running out on them once more and attempted to stop him. After giving Cindy a quick look, Junior said to Gina, It's not you. After noticing Cindy's startled expression, Elaine called George over so they could discuss it. George said he was sorry for worrying Elaine about his health, but when she pressed him for an explanation of his feelings, he became silent. You kissed her. Elaine screamed out as he turned to go. George attempted to hide everything, but Elaine eventually lost patience when he acknowledged Junior was correct when she suspected he was whispering to Cindy. Elaine said, You go to Cindy before me every time. Poor, stupid Elaine, deluding herself that you love me. George declared his love for Elaine and then hinted that he didn't really feel anything from his kiss with Cindy. It will never, ever happen again, George swore, to which Elaine answered, No, it won't. Elaine then gave George the order to go find some other warm bed, to sleep in and to exit the tavern. Is Elaine and George's story finished? Following reports that Rylan Clark had omitted an interview with Israel's act in the Eurovision Song Contest earlier in the week, an EastEnders star has shared the specifics of her conversation with the contestant. On social media today, Tracy Ann Oberman, best known for her roles as Valerie Lewis on Channel 4's Friday Night Dinner and Chrissy Watts on EastEnders, spoke about having spoken with Rylan following rumors that he was making a stance, 
by declining to do an interview with Israel's Eden Golan. She tweeted, pleading for the competition to bring people together rather than drive them apart. I spoke with that Rylan, and it was not targeted. I'm removing this tweet, since he's a great dude. Numerous people have found this year's Eurovision to be a nightmare, and the majority of them clearly don't want it to remain this way, as evidenced by the voting. Let music be a healer and art unite. Yesterday, supporters of Israel's Eden on Eurovision flocked to social media to complain that the presenter had snubbed her. Although he pretended to be a bellhop in the hotel elevator and conducted interviews with several competitors, Eden apparently was not given that chance. A voice may be heard in the interview tape of Eden questioning the singer as she enters the elevator by herself. One fan posted their suspicions about what might have happened, saying, It's not that at Rylan refused to conduct the elevator interview with Eden Golan. We did not stand this. In the midst of the uproar, Rylan has defended the contest elsewhere. Malmo is doing an amazing job of hosting, he said on Good Morning Britain. Co-host Scott Mills said, It does feel a little different, but it's about the music and the joy that we have at Eurovision every single year. It's a song contest, it's all about the music, and that's what we're here for. Throughout the whole week, the two have dominated UK conversation and coverage. Eden, along with Armenia, Austria, Estonia, Georgia, Greece, Latvia, Netherlands, Norway, and Switzerland, advanced to the final at last night's semi-final. Albania, Belgium, Czechia, Denmark, Malta, and San Marino all advanced, but they were all unable to secure a last spot before this weekend's major match, which will take place live from Malmo on Saturday night. 9. EastEnders Spoilers Denzel Ditches Amy Amy finds it jealous that Ebony and Denzel are getting along so well. To demonstrate her dedication, she chooses to have sex with Denzel. When Denzel finds it difficult to perform because of the steroids, things don't go well. Amy is offended by Denzel, even when he assures her. Nugget tries to kiss Amy later. Denzel then breaks up with Amy after he lies to him about it, being the other way around. Soon after, George and Junior are back at the Vic. Has their conflict been settled? Junior soon feels uncomfortable at the Vic and makes his excuses. He then goes to Peggy's, where he meets Bianca, and the two of them share a bed. Amy goes after Nugget and gives him some harsh reality. As Nugget starts to worry about his friendships, he determines that using steroids will help. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.